Hello everyone and welcome to another LA Noir video. We start a new mission, Owls of Sticks. <laughs> Must be the uh, development fund again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a sub, like and comment, please. Thank you. Really need those. They help a lot. Thank you. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Letter. Lichtman. Very German indeed. Pertaining to the matter of policy number 1191659 and the sudden death of Louis Jan Buckwalter. I am writing before him that you have been named as the sole beneficiary of Mr. Buckwalter's estate. Please find a time to settlement check for 20,000 and the maximum payable amount. In accordance with clause 4A. There's no need to come into the office, Mr. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Are you looking up? Maybe. I don't accept this. What assignment. do you mean you don't accept? Mm -hmm. I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A two hundred dollar policy with a twenty thousand dollar payout? You should I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case filed. Come on, Kelso, you did that. Right. Just to select. I mean, what am I supposed to select exactly? There's got to be more in these files. Probably. Insurance policy number one nine zero one six five nine. Do 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 do. No idea. While in the employ of Elysian Fields Development, Louisiana Bulkwater was killed when the roof of the property in which she was working collapsed. On Tuesday 28th at approximately 8.30 in the morning. Fucking hell, they start work early. Oh, it's construction, I suppose. Mr. Bulkwater was ascending the roof structure of property at the Normand uh, Normandy Avenue. One uh, development when a fault in the bridge came caused. Okay. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. And he fell trying to get to Sorry hold onto the roof, this. which collapsed as well. Interesting. Senior claims investigator. Timothy Lee. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Bill Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Mm. Sounds convincing. That was wrong. This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? Good point. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Doubt it. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Do you really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. Mm-hmm. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Sounds right, but I don't think so. 
Oh, he was you right. expect me to believe that you have no ulterior motive? That money means nothing to you? I believe that money has value. I believe your work defines who you are. And you should be paid relative to the quality of your work. If you wish to simply interrogate me for your own enjoyment, Mr. Kelso, then I will answer no more questions. Here is my number. Call me when you're prepared to help. She wrote all that with one quick uh, scribble, one quick move of the pen? Oh, that's not the one I wanted to open. Go back. And what the hell indeed? Look, she's uh, an expert writer. 605 West Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood. Nice. Nice. Oh, hello. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? How does that just fall like that? That was weird. I didn't come to California totally to unexpected. Like well, you should uh, be happy you've got a job. Secretary or something else. Unless you want to work in the porn industry, is that what you want for to California for? What the hell is she doing up there? Ooh, that's a fancy office. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. I'm sure. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. <laughs> she says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Ooh. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. I'm sure you do. You Thank probably you, shouldn't. Because I'm gonna fuck you up. I hope. Right, that was interesting. So are we going to be uh, using Kelso now, are we? We get to drive a different car at least. Ooh, Chevrolet, Fleetmaster, two-door. We're nearly reaching half the cars of the, of the game. Which I'm sure it's, it's not many considering how far in the story I, I believe we are. But hey, that's okay. We don't have a uh, thing anymore, so we've got a normal horn now, which is uh, just cool. Except, obviously, we can't get the traffic out of our way. But uh, that's fine, it uh, feels normal. And there we are. Back to the uh, Elysian Field site. This is what, the third time we're here? I guess we just go straight in. Oh, we missed the calendar. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful indeed. Oh, I don't think there's a calendar, but the posters. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Hmm. 
Order of Demolition, the City of Los Angeles Pursuit, Section 191, Part 1, Subsection A, California. Bulldozing and starting again. So, the building associated with the incident must be demolished immediately and materials removed from site. Hmm, that is a bit weird. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Yeah, a lot of bosses don't. I mean, a lot of people don't, I guess. Alright, that's it. Hey, you just can't be walking around. No, you again? Here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. <laughs> I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Oh, that's not gonna go down well to you, matey. Let's see if you can take my ad hop. Take another step this way. I can't that's not see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. No, he said straight down, free house left. What? Oh shit. Why don't see any marker on the map? That's Monroe. Can we go up the ramp? Ooh, maybe? Nope. nope. That's annoying. We can get through the wood, but we can't get on the wood. Little weird, I know, but hey, this was uh, 2011. What the F is he doing? <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just grinding babies and making the oil out of it. I'm lost. Is there anything on the map, by the way? Oh, I see. So I actually had to go into the locations and click on it. Oh, well, at least we found that out a few minutes into uh, wasting time around. No, we don't. I thought we, you might have some dialogue for us, but I guess not. Mm, I see rubble. Yay, pigeon. The place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Well, got to be hiding something. If I stop hitting the mic, it will be nice. So what's what's it doing there if it's not for construction use then? Very interesting indeed. Those are the shady bricks. Yeah, that shouldn't fall like that. I'm no no expert. I did work in construction, but not so much on the uh, building uh, houses side of things. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, can I go through here? Whoa! Oh, well, we can't fall anyway. You're kidding. If that's how you build houses. Now it's California, you don't need to make a strong building because it's it's sunny all the time. Not for construction use as well. But I wouldn't build a house or live in a house like that. This is um there's a guy, there was a, a machine like this. I don't know what you call it, excavators or whatever. When uh, when I was growing up, like most of the roads in my town were done by one of those. And the guy that owned it lived uh, literally the the next town. 
they're not very useful but for cleaning and stuff they're useful but we, we use them to make roads which is not really what they're there for puzzle time well it's not that yeah I know and it's not that one either close but not quite so will be the bottom bit Stone. Keystone. Stone films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Well, apparently Elysian does. Uh oh what is he doing? Why did he have to run down here? Jump. Use L2 or oh, not like that. Move, 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 move. Oh shit. Move, 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 move. Am I supposed to try and kill him with that? Because that's not gonna happen. Alright. Shoot at the driver to slow down. And aid my escape. Yeah, except I kind of lose a lot of time like that. Dun, dun, dun. So it lifts it straight away, which is what slows it down. That you can't shoot him. I wonder if it's at, at all positive to shoot him. Nah. Can we jump over? No, you should be able to at that speed, but I don't think the game is programmed to let you. No, I don't want to make it easy. Fuck you. Son of a bitch. All right, let's try again. Okay, do that. Slow him down. Run, run. I mean, jump. I did run. I was meant to jump. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Move. God damn, the controls are a little bit on a on a sluggish side. Well, not the controls, but the animation. Let's see, let's see. That should have knocked us down, getting hit by uh, this flying debris. Yay, we made it! So all we have to do is just keep running and turn around every now and then. Right, we're safe and sound. Shitting his pants, but okay. Trace address of Keystone Films. Okay, there's a police phone over there. Da, 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 da. We're gonna do some great parking here. Da, 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 da. I was enjoying that, but we gotta go to the phone. Wait, what are you doing? Well, apparently, uh, he goes inside the car instead. Let's try that again. I mean, if I had parked properly, that wouldn't have been a problem. Right, who does he call? Is that, like, straight to the operator? Is it? Thank you, ma'am. Took you a while to decide that. Okay, we've got a location. Now you can go into the car, thank you. Let's go to the studio. The Keystone Film Company. Interesting. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. 
We've been close since 41. Ooh. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. <laughs> Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. Of course. We're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. All right. There's your two couple of bucks. Two couple of bucks. That makes no sense. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go jump. Yeah, because it doesn't have uh, wire at the top, so yeah. Do, 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 do. Which way do we go? Screening room, that sounds like uh, something we should go and visit. Dun, dun, a pen? Is that a pen? These couches have been a little overused. Then again, they're a few years old and not being cleaned or anybody using them, so I suppose that makes sense. But what exactly is here for me to find? Ooh, yeah, you did look a bit fancy, didn't you? Wow. Use uh, L to move, press X to select. Okay. So, uh, that makes it faster. I mean, blurrier. Yeah. So, about the middle. Yeah, I've gone around like three or four times, but roughly around the middle that it gets better. So, this is what. Oh, the sound. So that's probably the best. This is too slow. Yeah, that's the one. What's that? Oh, all right. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the of course. Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. I'm pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon. Editor of the Times, Doctor, District Attorney Donald Sandler, and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You are making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. <laughs> no a shit. step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear! And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? I cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public God housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. Ooh. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? 
The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean our pockets, Leland. <laughs> We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Three billion dollars back then, I suppose, yeah. Okay, so you start replaying automatically. Okay. Mm, what have we got? I think that's, yeah. That's the one we already watched. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> okay. That's going to be relevant, I'm sure. Thought as much. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You are making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the SP. I find that those of artistic temper are often of a Is that anything else here uh, worth getting? Or worth investigating doesn't look like it. Can't go through there. Guess we gotta find that phone. We got through here either. We can go see the horsey. The beautiful horsey, and this, of course, is closed off. Hello, horsey. How are we doing? Feeling a bit lonely? Yeah. I think the way we come in is the only way that we can leave, which was this way. And we can jump. And we can use... Yeah, the level phone dead. Okay, makes sense. Operator, Los Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Yeah. Building new homes for GIs. Yeah, sure. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen oh. very clearly. Straight to the question. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight, do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. <laughs> Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage. So is he going to say it to convince her? Or to oh, go further with the case? Thanks for your help. Blue Room Jazz Club. There's Phelps. What's he doing here? And don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause baby, you know I'm guilty. Yes, you are. Okay. How is he doing? I'm a little confused. Back of the building? Or is he gonna catch them doing something? Or is he spying on them? Or what the hell is he doing? Ok. 
Okay. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Be jealous, are we? Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man. And you have placed him in great danger. You've already meant something and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Cool. Oh, Cute. Ooh. Hey, don't put against the wall. She's gonna get her dress dirty. Investigate the Legion Field Site 2. Okay. So we're still on Kelso. Or as Kelso. Oh, hello, ladies. How are we doing? You look gorgeous today. Okay, well, I think, uh, I think we'll call it a day. Thank you all for watching. And we'll continue probably from here on the next video. So, um... Yeah, thanks very much. Take care.